What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now today the rotation has happened. It's September 1st and it's going to be Primal Clash on and a bunch of people have been asking me, Josh, Squeaky, what is good after the rotation? The question is, I mean the answer is, there's a lot of good stuff after the rotation. Uh, Night March dies off which opens room for so many different decks now. And as you see there's 73 cards in this pool um, of what I think is good. Now there's probably some cards I missed. There's a ton of cards to go over and uh, we're going to talk about some of the, we're probably, uh, we'll just probably talk about all these cards and uh, we'll just start from the top and see where we're going. And uh, like I said, there's probably some cards I missed, probably some decks I missed. If I missed anything, leave it down below in the comments, and we'll talk about it. I am excited for this new format. I think it does give a lot of decks. Oh, like, I already noticed. I already noticed I missed a card already. So, hold on. Hold on. What, I, I've been, like, mainly look at, mainly looking through these cards. I forgot to add Reiku in here. Reiku is another good card for Magnet Zone, which we'll talk about here in a second as well. But as you see, there are 74 cards now for the new format. So, let's go over it. Oh, man, there's more. Like, oh, my goodness. There's just, like, Slow King is, is good. Uh, we get the Royal Flash Sloking in the deck. Yeah, that seems good as well. There's a lot of good cards, as you see. I can just keep going on and on. But right now, we're going to stick out 75. If I think of any, just top of my head, I'll let you know. Now, let's go over some of the big, big, big decks that some people are talking about, which is a lot of these, but uh, let's go over them. So, uh, let's go over some support Pokemon first. We still have Shame and EX set up. Draw, you have six cards in hand. That's not going anywhere. And also... Let's see, can I find our other friend? Uh, where is he at? I'm looking for... Uh, where is Hoopa? I know I saw him. I know Hoopa EX is in here somewhere. Why do I keep passing him? Um, maybe he's not in here? I thought I put Hoopa in here. I know, I know people are like squeaky. He's, oh, there he is. There he is. There's Hoopa EX. I couldn't see him. Uh, oh, he's with the Psychic Pokemon, duh. Uh, but Hoopa has a Scoundering. Search your deck for three EX Pokemon, duh. They're tight by... Types. I was looking for H for Hoopa, and I was all the way up here looking for H, and I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Alright, so Shaman and Hoopa, we still have those as our, our, our support Pokemon. And also, Octillery does exist as well. So, we'll put Octillery in here. In here, if you don't have Shaman, you can put Octillery if you want to. Uh, so, so that, throw that guy into the mix as well. Alright, so let's start off. Let's talk about some of the big big decks. Now, the first one is going to be Mega Rayquaza with Ammo Break. This attack does 30 damage, times the number of your bench Pokemon. Now, this can be manipulated with Skyfield to put a Pokemon on your on, on your a bench to hit for 240, which can knock out anything. Now the problem with Mega Quasi it was leaked to Lightning, which made Joltic uh, Night Marsh kind of destroy it and other stuff like that. And some Mega Quasi players did play Jolteon to kind of counter react the uh, Mega Quasi, but even that did not work, and Jolteon still proved to be the better deck. Now. It's going to be up to you which Rayquaza you want to play. There's this Rayquaza with the Intensifying Burn and the Dragon Pulse. Or there's the Dragon Rayquaza with Dragon Claw for 30 and Dragon Strike for 130. Now, I know some people play this once again because it is weak to Fairy and not to Lightning. Uh, but, I don't know. Intensifying Burn might be a better attack. But also, you can just get the turn Evolve and just end your turn if needed. Alright, so Mega Quaza, one of the most hype decks right now. You can play with Shame. Oh, no, you have to play with Shame. There's not, there's no if. Um, you have to play with Hoopa, the Scoundering. Um... You can maybe play it with Zork. Zork has these stand in. You get switch this Pokemon with your bench to your active. Mind Jack does 10 and then 30 more damage for each of your opponent's pitch Pokemon, which could be really nice. You can also play it with Manaphy EX, which gives Pokemon free retreat with Water Juice attached to it. It's going to be up to you what do you want to do. Do you want to play Manaphy? Do you want to play Zork? Zork does give you some answers. I guess some, uh, I guess. Mega hate decks, uh, Zork can easily knock them out if needed, uh, but Manaphy does give your Pokemon free treat regardless of what it is, um, so uh, I don't know, it would be up to what to, what you decide to play. Alright, so next up, the next biggest deck is going to be this Mega Mewtwo deck. This is probably one of the most hyped decks right now. Uh, Mega Mewtwo EX has the attack Psychic Affinity. Once again, weak to Psychic, so that's why it wasn't really played. Because of, you know, Night March. Night March is everywhere. But Psychic Affinity does 10. And this attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. This attack damage isn't affected by weakness. But it might not seem that good, but once you start putting a ton of damage uh, uh, energies onto your Mega Mewtwo, uh, you can be good to go. You play Mega Turbo, DCEs. Also, you can play Claw Wit Clawwitzer, which we haven't seen on the channel just yet. But Clawwitzer has the ability to Mega Boost once during your turn before you attack. You may attach a special card from your hand to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon, which means you can attach two DCs in your turn. So you can DCE the Mega Boost DC, then Mega Turbo into it, which is really, really cool. And that's why it's one of the most hyped decks. It's so fast, you can attack on the second turn pretty easily. And also, you can play with Garboder. Now, 
If you're playing with Garbodor, obviously you're not playing with Clawwitzer because Clawwitzer is an ability. And the good thing about Garbodor is when you get the Garbotox into play, there's no Zerosix and no Megaphone, so that Garbodor's uh, uh, Garbotox ability is stayed on forever, unless your opponent plays a Lysir to knock out your Garbodor. Um, that could shut down a lot of stuff if needed, uh, but Mega Mewtwo is proven to be one of the early talked about decks uh, coming into the uh, the rotation. Now next up is going to be Xerneas Break. Uh, Xerneas and Xerneas Break. Now there's two different ways you can play it. You can play with the Rainbow Spear deck, which uh, some people are preferring. Uh, Geomancy attached, uh, choose two of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search deck for a fairy to G attached to that Pokemon to shelf your deck afterwards. And Rainbow Spear for 100. And the partner we're playing with is going to be Giratina. We actually saw this last year with the Robotees at the start of the season. A lot of people did play this deck. Uh, Xerneas, Giratina. It seems like history is repeating itself. Um, now, the reason why Giratina is getting so hyped right now is because of the ability Renegade Pulse. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon. Which, if you notice, there is a lot of Mega Evolutions in this deck. Um, now, there is ways around it uh, with both these. Renegade Pulse can be shut down. By Garbodor, like we said, so your Mewtwo's get hit it, uh, Hex Maniac, and also Giratina has Chaos Will, which is 100. Your opponent can't play tools, special energy, or data cards from their hand onto, uh, during their next turn, but this could be, uh, this could be, I guess, undone with Pokemon Ranger, because it gives rid of effects on your side of the field, which is really nice, but Giratina is proven to be one of the early, early cards again, uh, to be really good in the next rotation. And, uh, it's just really good. Uh, and the reason why you play with Xerneas is because you can help, like, power for Giratina. And also, Xerneas can knock out, like, other Giratinas as well. And Rainbow Spirit does do somewhat of a lot of damage, like 100. For three energies, it's not too great, but it can get you there. And like I said, it can hit for weakness on Giratinas if you are playing against Near Match, which is really, really nice. Uh, but Chaos Will, really a strong Renegade Pulse, a really strong ability as well. Alright, so we cover Xerneas. Um, with the Geomancy and Rainbow Spear, but the other one that's been hyped as well is the Rainbow Force Xerneas. Uh, this attack does 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. So 10 plus 30, if you have, what, 8 Pokemon on your bench, you could do 250 if I did the math correctly in my head. Uh, 8, 16, 24, plus the 10, 250. Yeah, if there's 8 different types. I don't even know if there's... Eight different types that you can put down, really. Uh, but let's look at some of these cards you can play with Xerneas, which is why I like this deck a lot in post-rotation. Uh, you can play Galvantula, which counts as a Lightning and Grass. and also has Double Thread. This attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bitch Pokemon. Also play Weakness and Resistance, so you get 60 foot from the Galvantula. Uh, you can play Bisharp, which gives you two more. So 3, 6, 9, 12. You're already hitting for 120 with just two Pokemon on the bench. Uh, with Retaliate, if any of your Pokemon are knocked out uh, from damage from your opponent's attack during his or her turn, this attack does 60 more damage. So you can hit somebody, can't, you can hit somebody for 90. And then if they're weak to Metal or Dark, you can do 180, which can knock out some Pokemon as well. And also, um, there's a Golurk. Uh, Golurk would be another one as well. I don't know why it's not in this list. Hold on, let's get out Garlurk real quick. Is Golurk even legal still? I don't know, we'll find out. And yes, it looks like Gorlark is going to be legal as well. So Gorlark can get you another, uh, I guess, uh, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So with just these three Pokemon on your bench, you can take a knockout pretty easily. Uh, Gorlark has the double type as long as this Pokemon is play. Uh, it's, it is a psychic and fighting type. So that's really, really cool. So just by itself, Gorlark, Bisharp, and uh, the Gavantula. That's, three, that's two, four, six different types. Uh, so 180 plus a 10 base is 190. Then you have another Xerneas down. And you can see why this deck can do start doing so much damage. And that's why Xerneas is going to be one of the most played cards. And I mean, it only needs a Fairy and a Color DC, which is not too hard to power up. Also, EXP share, I'm pretty sure it's still legal. So you can EXP your Xerneas and then knock it out. The Rainbow just gets bumped from that guy to another guy, which is really cool. And that's why Xerneas is in the deck in this uh, thing as well. And also, there is the Xerneas Break, which has the Life Stream. This tech does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. It only needs two energies. I think this is going to be played more the Giratina ver version than the Rainbow Road version. Because when you're playing the uh, the Geomancy version, you can put energies everywhere, put on your bench. Uh, Max looks to get more energies out, double dragon. And then you can go to Xerneas Break and start using Lifestream that way, which is really strong. Um, so Xerneas is going to be one of the most hyped cards coming out. 
for sure. All right, so we talked about Xerneas, talked about Zork, we talked about Giratina, uh, Shaman, Rayquaza. Bunnelby is really good as well. Probably on Rayquaza as well. You can run it to the gets cards back at your deck or burrow to discard your opponent's deck. Okay, uh, Shaman. And the next up is going to be Dark. Now, Dark is going to be playing a bunch of different ways. It's, it's going to, we'll probably see a, a lot of different forms. Uh, you can have Dark at Giratina. You can have Dark at Evatol Garboder. You can have Evatol with spread damage. You can have Quad Zork. There's a lot of decks you can play in the next format. And let's look at each, each card real quick. So Dark at EX, Dark Pulse 20. This stack does 20 more damage for each Dark energy attached to all your Pokemon. And Dark Head, which you could play with Hypno, which I think puts both active Pokemon to sleep. Uh, let's, let's grab that Hypno. Come on, come on down, Hypno. I know, I forgot you, buddy. Let's type in Hypno. Is Hypno still legal? It should be still legal, right? Oh, oh not the Slash. Come on now. Uh, yep, there's Hypno. What's Dirty Turt before you attack? You may leave both Pokemon to sleep, but you can use Zorak to rush in or stand in and then retreat, uh, which is really nice. And then you get Dark Head for 160, plus like a, a Fighting Fury, which is 170. Muscle Man is gone, so no more Muscle Man. You don't have to worry about that, but Fighting Fury still does exist. And like I said, there's a lot of Megas, so Umbreon EX could see uh, play as well. In game, if your opponent's Mega Evolution is knocked out by damage from this attack, take two more prize cards. So you could use Umbreon to take the last three prize cards if an e a Mega Pokemon is weak enough. The only downside is it needs a Dark and a DCE. So that's the only complicated thing. Um, if your opponent sees like an Umbreon Dark attached, they're probably going to try their best to knock that out so you can end game it, with, which is, I mean, but 70 damage is not a lot. Um, but maybe you could Dark Pulse in the end game for the, the following turn to knock out an EX, take your last three prize cards, which is still pretty cool. And I think some people will attempt to use Umbreon EX. Now, next up is going to be Evatol. There's a Blade Wing for 30, Dark Display for 100. We've seen this tons of times. The Pitch Black Spear, 60 is 62, a Bench Pokemon EX. No tool cards work as well when Fright Knight's in the Axe spot. And the Evatol Break, which we haven't seen that much of just yet, does 120. And this tag does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, or bitch Pokemon that already has any damage counters on the Pokemon, uh, which is pretty nice. It could spread the damage around. I know some people have already been testing this Evotol break. I'm personally not the biggest fan of it, but still, it could be really, it could be played. And the next up is going to be Evotol. Evotol is such a good attacker. We talked about how Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo was really good, but Evotol just needs two energies. It's not a Mega. You don't need a Spear Link. You get start attacking pretty much on turn one in Y Cyclone for 90 to move your energy from this guy to another one. Ooh, what you could do is maybe Y Cyclone and then use Endgame to win with Umbreon somehow. That could be really cute. Uh, one 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 Zork. We talked about the Zork already, but Zork Break Steel does exist. The foul play. Choose one of your opponent's active. Choose one of your opponent's active att Pokemon's attacks and use it as his attack for one Dark Energy. Alrighty, now. Going on, we talked about Giratina, and uh, Giratina is going to see some partners as well, which will be the Hydreigon. Uh, Hydreigon has the Dragon Road. If there's a stated card to play, uh, their treat cost of each Dragon Pokemon is two less. Shred for 80. It's not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, and also, I think Reshiram still exists. Let's see if this card... I think this card's still in the game, right? Yeah, so Reshiram is still in the deck of uh, the game as well, which Reshiram has the Turbo Blaze once during the turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is your act Pokemon, you may attach a Fire Energy attached from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. So maybe you can try to get that Giratina a little bit quicker. Uh, maybe like, well, I mean, you're playing Fire Energy, so I don't know how great that's going to be. But like, you can play Double Dragon and like six Fire, so you can max list on a Giratina, uh, Double Dragon, and then Turbo Blaze, which could get your turn on Giratina. Uh, so maybe it's not too bad. Um, but. I think it's going to be interesting. I don't think Rush Rooms will be played that much. Definitely Giratina will. Um, if Giratina is played, you might as well play Hydrogen to give your Pokemon free retreat. Because Giratina does have a three retreat cost. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty high retreat cost to pay to retreat your Giratina. Alright, so next up is going to be our Fairy Pokemon. We already talked about Xerneas and Xerneas Break. But let's look at Gardevoir. Gardevoir has, the, uh, has a Mega called called Mega Gardevoir, duh. Uh, but it has the attack Despair Ray. It does 110. And you may discard as many bench Pokemon as you like. This attack does 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discard it in this way. Now, if you watched my video from Thursday, maybe, we play against the Mega Gardevoir deck. Yeah, with the Aerodactyl deck. It's a really good deck. Oh, we found out pretty quickly. <laughs> um, Despair Ray. What you can do is you can knock off your Mega Gardevoir. Is that what hurt? Because right now, we're in a format where 
one shots aren't really happening too much unless you're playing like Mega Mewtwo or Mega Quaza. I mean, I guess certainly. Okay, maybe maybe I'm lying. Um, uh, one shots will happen a lot, but Despair Ray can make it where you can knock off your Gardevoirs that are hurt and then get them back on the field like Super Odd, which is really cool. And I do like this combo a lot. The only downside, it, it, like you're not gonna take one shots with Mega Gardevoir, but some people have been trying to play this deck. I'm not a big fan of it, but we have seen it played. All right. Um, and we do have two Gardevoirs. You can play the Link Blast 30. If you have the, if this Pokemon, if this Pokemon and your opponent's Act Pokemon have the same amount of energies attached to them, this attack does 70 more damage. And Loomis Blade for 120 discard energy attached to this Pokemon. And the other Gardevoir, which is Life Leap, 20 heal from this Pokemon, the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's Act Pokemon. And Shining Wind for 100. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon has no weakness. All right, so. The other key, like, fairy Pokemon, another support, support Pokemon, is going to be Klefki with this Wonderlog. Um, we're not going to read all this text. Basically, what it says, if Klefki is on your bench, you get discarded and attach it to one of your Pokemon. And this makes it where Megas cannot hurt that Pokemon during their next turn. And like I said earlier in the video, there's no Toe Scrapper or Megaphone or no Zerustic, so they cannot get Klefki off your Pokemon. And if your, opponent get, if your opponent's playing a Mega deck, they're going to be mad at you. They're like, I can't hurt it. So they have to license around it. But the good thing if your opponent, it only lasts for one turn. But Klefki is proven to be one of the strongest cards in the next set because there's so many Mega Pokemon that we have talked about. And Klefki can prevent, prevent it from being hurt. All right, so we talked about the Xerneas. Next up is going to be fighting. I'm trying to stop the mouse. Okay, this, this mouse is being weird. Come on, stop right here. All right, so next up, we'll talk about fighting Pokemon just a little bit. Uh, Carbink was Safeguard. We talked about a lot of EXs. Uh, like I said earlier, Garboder and uh, Hexamania can shut this off. Makes sure EX Pokemon can't hurt it. And we have the Carbink Break, which does 20 and attach 2 energy from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. Now, one of the fighting Pokemon you can power it up is going to be Primal Groudon. Primal Groudon does 100 damage, but if there's a Stadium card to play, this attack does 100 more damage and discard that Stadium card. Now, Grass is not popping up too much. We know that Best Queen was one of the most popular decks last form, but there's no more Battle Compressor. Primal Groudon has to mainly worry about Yon Mega. And uh, since there's no more Night March, you really can't one-shot this Groudon. So maybe you'll have multiple turns of power for Primal Groudon. You also have the Claw Witcher as well, which can help you get your Primal Groudon out quicker. Uh, and, and I think Primal Groudon is going to be a good deck. Uh, some people haven't been talking about it. It still needs four energy, so yeah, it takes a little while to set up. But so does Giratina. So I think we're going to be fine. I think Primal Groudon is a great spot right now, especially with the Carbink to make it where e you know, uh, EX Pokemon can't hurt you, which is really, really nice. Um, Glade is another deck as well people are talking about with Premonition. Uh, rearrange top five cards of your deck, but since the blade is where it's at, uh, if you play a supporter card during your hand, this attack does 70 more damage, which is 130, um, which 130 might not seem like a lot, but it can one-shot Shamans, The Shamans are going to be played on almost every deck, and that's why Glade is in here. Um, next up is going to be Red Rock to give your fighting Pokemon 10 more damage to your opponent's act Pokemon, and Zygarde. Zygarde has the Land Pulse 20, if there's a data card to play, this attack does 20 more damage, Cell Storm 60 and lands are after 100. Um, I don't think Zygarde's going to be played too much. I know some people played it with Vileplume. And I think if you're playing a, a Vileplume lock deck, Vileplume still doesn't exist. It's going to be interesting to see if anybody finds a partner for it. Uh, but Vileplume, Zygarde, and Vileplume Yamega are the two most like talked about um, Vileplume decks. I guess you can play my Vileplume Sceptile or Mega Sceptile. You can, pop, you can partner Vileplume with anything. Maybe not Mega Sceptile because you need like links and stuff. But Zygarde Valpum is one of the most talked about decks currently right now. Alright, so next up is going to be Fire. Fire has, I guess, three attackers. There's also another Entei. I don't think it's going to be that useful. But this Entei is pretty good. Combat Blaze does 20. This attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Which could, out of nowhere, knock out a Pokemon. The only downside about Fire, though, is we lose Blacksmith. Yep, we lose Blacksmith, which is really bad, but I, I think proven from the Volcanium video on Friday, we can win games without Blacksmith. We'll go over that in a second, why. Um, Flare and EX with Flash Fire, move a Fire Energy attached to one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. Blaze Ball does 50, and then 20 more damage for each Fire Energy attached to it. Once you get three attached, you do 110 damage, which is really nice. But the thing that makes Fire Shine is going to be this Volcanion. Uh, Volcanion has Power Heater. It does 20, and then you choose two of your rich Pokemon, attach a Fire Energy from your discard pile to each of those Pokemon to help you power up your Fire Pokemon. Uh, not pretty quickly, but it does help speed up process, process a lot. 
And also, one of the fire attacker that we can't, don't see right now because it's partnered with water Pokemon is Volcanian EX with Steam Up. Uh, you discard a fire energy, your basic fire Pokemon do 30 more damage, and Volcanian Heat does 130. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn, but you can use Ranger to get rid of that effect and then start attacking again, which is really, really cool. Alright, so we talked about Gavantula, we talked about Vileplume, uh, Mega Sceptile is another cool card. They just thought makes sure your, Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon's abilities uh, prevent all effects to Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon, but Jack and Saber is where this card is really good. Uh, you may attach up to two Grass Energy from your hand to your bench Pokemon any way you like. If you attach energy to the Pokemon this way, heal all damage from that Pokemon. And like I said earlier, this game is kind of slowed down. We're kind of taking two shots instead of one shots. I know I kind of say that very, very lightly. Trust me, we're going to take one shots. But Jagged Saber can uh, heal your Mega Sceptiles, make it where they don't take a knockout retreat. Uh, Mega Sceptile again, Jagged Saber heal the damaged ones, and continue that process, which is really, really neat. And I think Mega Sceptile is in, in a weird spot right now, but I think it will pull through some, for some League Cups and maybe some Regionals as well. Alright, so next up is going to be Yon Mega. Now, Yon Mega can be played with Vest Queen still. If you notice, Vest Queen's not on the list because Battle Pressure is not with us anymore, but you can still like discard Ultra Ball, um, maybe Sycamore some Pokemon away, but even then, it's going to be really hard. But Yon Mega has this really cool ability, Sonic Vision. If you have exactly four cards in your hand, ignore our energy attack in the attack cost of each Pokemon, each of this Pokemon's attacks. Assault Boom does 50. And if there's a card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, this attack does 70 more damage. And the Yon Mega Break for the Barrier Break 100, and ignore all effects on your opponent's act Pokemon. Now, I know I said a second ago that Yon Mega can be paired with Vesqueen, but some other attackers that I've seen people play it with is Zap Strika. Uh, it has Crashing Bolt. It only needs a DC, which is really nice. Uh, Crashing Bolt does 50. If your opponent's active Pokemon has a uh, Fighting Resistance, this attack does 60 more damage. And the damage from the attacks of your Lightning Pokemon is affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. But Crashing Bolt does 110. Times 2 of the Fighting Resistance, which we know that this Rayquaza does, which is 220. So you can knock a Mega Rayquaza that way. You also can knock out an Evital. So some people are saying that Zeb Striker is how you're going to be the... Uh, what is it? The uh, Dragon Re uh, the Mega Rayquaza decks, but also you have this Raichu as well with Circle Circuit. This deck does 20 damage times the number of your bench Pokemon. So once you have five, you do 100 times two, 200. So you will need to have your opponent. Your opponent will have to have a Sky Float out for you to Circle Circuit for the knockout because there's never Muscle Band. If there's Muscle Band, you could Muscle Band and then Circle Circuit for knockout to do 240. But since that doesn't exist, I think Zip Striker is going to be the better answer as of right now. So, Yon Mega Zep Strika, Yon Mega Raichu, uh, Yon Mega Vileplume. There's so many different ways you can play Yon Mega right now, and I'm so excited. Yon Mega is one of my favorite Pokemon currently right now. Now, speaking of Lightning Pokemon, we have the Magnezone. Uh, we actually saw me add the Reku in at the last minute. But the Magnemite, as long as the Pokemon is your act Pokemon, its retreat cost is one less for each Magnemite on your bench. So we could get Magnemite for retreat. Magneton and Magnezone with the Magnetic Circuit, which is a pretty cool ability. As often as like during a turn, you may attach a Lightning Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So as often as you like, which is pretty cool. So you can attach, it's basically a Deluge for a Lightning Pokemon. Uh, which we do like a lot. Now, the way we're going to partner this Pokemon is with Pikachu EX. With uh, Iron... Not Iron Tail. <laughs> Overspark, sorry. Uh, discard all light energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage times the number of energy cards discarded. Uh, you discard that way. So, if you discard 4, you do 200 damage. Um, 3... With the fighting for it's not it's only 160, so you have to discard four to actually start knocking out EX Pokemon, which is kind of hard. But you can, I think, energy will still exist. Um, Fishman definitely still exists. So there's some ways you can get back, and also you can play your Magnezone with Octillery, so you can play a bunch of stuff. Then Octillery draw some more cards, Magnezone again, uh, which is pretty cool. Next up is going to be Reku with the shiny body. If this Pokemon has any light energy attached to it, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. And Thunderlance does 50. This attack does 20 more damage for each light energy attached to this Pokemon. Now, one thing to note is we have talked about some about abilities. Uh, very few, like Yon Mega, Magnezone, Valplume, um, uh, Klefki, Zor, Giratina, which is why like Garbodor is getting a lot of hype right now, especially since there's no tool cards. I just want to point that out. Just want to point that out why Garbodor is getting a lot of hype. All right, so we talked about Bisharp. 
Mega Scizor is another card that's going to hype up as well. You can play with Garbodor, which is pretty cool. Iron Crusher does 120. You may discard a special energy card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon or a stadium card to play, which is really good. If you notice, a lot of these decks are playing DCE, so you could use Mega Scizor, Iron Crusher, discard it, which is pretty cool, and also it has 220 HP, so it is it's kind of tanky as well. And uh, you can partner this with Mega Turbo to help you get a Mega Scizor out ASAP if it does get knocked out. We talked about Hoopa, Gurlug, uh, Hypno, Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo, Trailbish, Garboder, Clawitzer, wait, no, Clauncher, Clawitzer. Alright, so next up is going to be Greninja. Once again, I know Garbodor exists, but I think this deck is still uh, going to be played heavily. Uh, going to play it a lot. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what I was trying to go there. Uh, but 111 Greninja, all the Greninja line stays, except for the XY Greninja to do 30 damage anywhere. But still, we have the Water Duplets to search for 3 Frog and Deer. We have the Greninja for the Shadow Stitching and Moonlight Slash, and we still have the Greninja Break, which can do 6 damage to any Pokemon uh, when you discard a Water Energy, but this has to be active. Still, Greninja got second at the World Championship. It's not losing a lot. It's still going to be very, very strong. You just have to find a way to beat Garboder, especially since Muscleman doesn't exist. You can't Moonlight Slash for a knockout because Moonlight Slash does 80 max. With the Muscleman, you could. But now you can't because I'm actually doing 80. So you have to like double ice in a Garboder. And by then your opponent might have another one ready, which is very, very bad. So it's going to be interesting I, to see if Greninja is played. I think Greninja will sneak a lot of wins. Like people were just like, oh, I'm not playing Garboder. I don't care about uh, abilities. And then Greninja will come and sweep because it does beat a lot of decks unless you're playing Garboder. All right, so next up um, is two different decks. Some people are still thinking that Waterbox is going to be a play um, with like Manaphy, whatever. I think that I don't know if you call this deck Water Box. I don't call it Water Box. I call it Primal Kyogre. Like, just straight up Primal Kyogre. So, Primal Kyogre, really, really good attacker. I think it's going to be a great card again. Once again, Best Queen does not exist anymore. Or, or it looks like Best Queen does not exist right now. Uh, but Tidal Storm does 150. Move two energies from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. This deck does 30 damage to each, your opponent's bench poke, each of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX. Now, what could be really cool with Primal Kyogre is you can do 150, 30, snipe all the bench Pokemon. And the next turn, lice another poke, another Primal, another EX out, and they take four prize cards in two turns. Or, yeah, in two turns, which is pretty cool. And also has the Alpha Growth ability. When you attach energy from your hand to this Pokemon, you may attach another energy as well. Then you have Mega Turbo and some other stuff to help power the Primal Kyogre within your second turn, which is really, really nice. Now, some cards we're going to play with Primal Kyogre is going to be Glaceon. Glaceon has that Crystal Ray, Crystal, Crystal Ray attack, which does 70. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Evolution Pokemon. But once again, Ranger does exist, so that could get it off. One mana feed to give your, uh, not one mana feed, mana feed overall to get Pokemon for your treat. And Reg Ice with the Resistance Blizzard. For 70, making our EX Pokemon cannot hurt it. But once again, this can be countered with Ranger. Like, Ranger is such a scary card. But I think Primal Garden is still going to be really good. I think it's going to be a great deck. Rough Sea still exists as well. I think it does. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure Rough Sea still exists. If it's not, I'm sorry. But Rough Sea is still starting damage from all your water Pokemon, which is really, really good. It helps you keep your Kyogre up uh, alive longer, which is really nice. All right, so that's all the Water Toolbox deck. Uh, we talked about Volcano, we talked about Artillery, we talked about Sulking, and the last one we're going to talk about is Waylord. You heard, me, you heard me say over and over again this format is kind of slow, but they're not taking one-shots on Pokemon. So Waylord could, could, theoretically, sneak some wins out of nowhere. Um, I don't know. It's an interesting card. It's still good in Water Box as well, but now there's no Vest Queen, so there's no real threat of you, them knocking out your Waylord ASAP. And uh, you still have Max Potion, you still have Puzzle Time. Uh, AZ does not exist anymore. Cassius doesn't exist anymore, but Max Potion does, which is still pretty nice. Uh, Team Rocket's Trickery still exists. Uh, Bunnelby still exists. So I think Waylord might see some play. Like, not a lot. It's definitely a roguish deck than all these. There you go, guys. There's a 28-minute video of me talking about the next rotation. There's probably some cards I missed. Bro, did I talk about everything in here? I think I did. I think I think I talked about everything in here. But there's probably some cards I missed. This is only 79 cards. And I'm saying only 79. Like, really? Only 79? Uh, there's still Garchomp. There's Machamp. Um... There might be some more. I don't know off the top of my head right now. This is all I can think of while I'm making this video. But let me know what you think of this video. What deck are you most excited about? Man, I, I don't know which one I, I want to play right now. There's so many different options. So many different decks to test out right now. I think Dark is really cool because you have a lot of versatility. 
It does struggle against Mega Quaza, but the Azork, which can punish your Mega Quaza player, which is pretty cool. Giratina seems really nice. Xerneas, Rainbow Road seems pretty broken as well, because you have all these like dual type Pokemon to help you out to do 20 damage fairly quickly. And there you go, guys. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know which deck is your favorite. If I missed any, if you're still here at the 29 minute mark, let me know as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. And tomorrow we'll cover some of the trainer cards that are still here. I know we talked about a lot of what's gone, but we'll talk about cards that still exist in this format but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hit that subscribe button already bye all right guys i just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors six cards yeti gaming and the pokemon company international links to everything will be down below in the description thanks for watching have a great day already